Hello, this is Johnny. I uh, finally successful able to change the joystick from this uh, rocket joystick, which is wobble wobble a lot, to uh, micro switch joystick. And you hear all the clicking direction. Okay. And we're going to do some game playing. And then I will show you at the end of the video of how to, what you need. And also some tips and and stuff like that and also show you how i put everything together okay <coughs> excuse me so let me go ahead and turn this on first this one is using the the uh version uh, one point let me make sure i got all the leg in here uh one point uh one point i'm sorry one zero i mean version one point uh August uh, 7 2019 okay so uh, I don't know if, uh, I didn't put the my foot correctly or what all right so this one will able to display picture but this one I don't have the picture in there okay uh, my thing is wobbling okay so anyway, you go to, uh, let's try to see the left direction is, is, right direction is working and left direction down and up is working, down, up, okay. So let's try the suite of H3. I'm not very good at uh, Mortal Kombat. I don't know the move, uh, so I won't be able to demonstrate that. I didn't put the screw in or what? Need to fix that. Sorry. So this is, you can make it to a, a four-way, two-way. It comes with a, a connection where you could take it off from the back. Uh, I'm okay with the... The, one of the moves that he made that I remember and that's to test the I'm never good at all the trick. My, my the way I play game is I just keep on doing it to get the trick going. So gameplay is much better and more is much fun with the arcade joystick. You don't, you know, the click, everything is good. Now let's compare the the height from it. So let's quit the game. All right. So compare the height. This is actually taller than this. Okay. By looking at it, you probably say, "Well, I can't really tell." So I'm gonna measure it and let you see. Uh, okay. So this one. Go the other side. This one, um, this this ruler is not that great, so it doesn't uh, give you the correct number. So, as you can see, roughly ah, this is not. It's hard to measure it. But can you guys tell? Let me lower this lower, so you guys could look at yourself. Let me see yourself. As you can see, the they look almost the same height, but this one is taller than this one. Okay, and it's hard to to tell because because the way 
this is this is not easy to mesh <laughs> uh, because it, it have something in, uh, in in something in its way so it's really hard to tell but but you could pretty much say they they look like they are of almost the same height but I believe I believe this one is taller than this one but because it's black it's hard to tell and this is brown but the height wise is pretty much the same okay but this one had the wobble and click let me turn the volume down so you can hear the, hear the clicking sound okay all right and uh so let me just tell you a little bit about this uh if you was to do this yourself uh there's a couple way you could do this uh i will put on descri uh, description uh i i went and used this okay i use this cable and this cable is it come with uh you know this direction this direction and and then also it comes with this this on this side and then this side is is you could plug it in so I just use this kind of cable and do the soldering now that's what I have but you could you could actually buy uh, let me get the so this is what it look like okay this cable but you could actually buy uh, this cable that is already pre-made because that joystick you could plug this you could plug this in to your joystick okay you could just plug it in like that all right and I have some picture I could show you now this diagram is drawn by uh, somebody my friend on YouTube but just want to let you know that there was a mistake uh, one to five it's right here is labeled one two three four five okay uh, three is actually up and two is down okay so if you you need to do you need to correct it like this two is down uh, where's my pen I should spell it correctly uh, D O W N okay sorry for bad handwriting all right so two is down three is up five is right four is left so those are correct just two and three are swap so if you look at this diagram uh, you have to understand this diagram is not correct okay so I'm gonna bring that to your attention because when you look at the video later on you will see this diagram and I made a mistake and I and I have to uh, swap this over to make it correct okay and also what I did is I took this cable out and solder it directly using uh, using one of this uh, cable we had two end to it so I solder uh, one end to to pin one I, I solder all this on the top to pin number one okay and then and then this cable will go directly to here so later you will see the more detail how I did that okay <coughs> so stay tuned for the rest of the video how I did it and and then uh, let's try some more what other stuff that I need to tell you before I forget you have to buy a plier because uh, you have to cut the bottom uh, apparently the bottom need to be cut otherwise this stick will hit the, the plate at the bottom and I need to re, uh, redo the screw because right now I didn't put the screw correctly so you can see it's wobbling alright so other than that the joystick is great it worked good it's, it's a perfect uh, well I can't say perfect but it's a good fit it looks like it's made for it and those people who hate those joysticks you could do this mod just watch the whole video and uh, if you have any question let me know and uh, so what I was saying is that if you buy one of this connection right here you could plug this directly to the to the uh, that's what I was meant to show you 
you could directly plug into let me find it first mm -hmm. right here you could directly plug into it like that you don't have to solder anything and then you just tie the, the, the other end to the other cable so uh, that will prevent from use have to solder to to the joystick okay and when you take the plate out from the bottom he make this the a way if you leave it the plate the metal plate there it will be four way it give you option to do two way there's another plate that you, that come with it you could change it to two way like a pat man you go two way and then four way and I took the plate out so this is uh, a way Hi, so what I did is, based on this picture, okay, I have the red one, uh, I'm using the blue color uh, cable, and I cable all those four together in one, and then that cable is going to go straight to pin one, based on this picture, okay, and, and what I did is I, I poked through the hole, this system have, I mean this uh, joystick have a, if you look close to it there's a hole there so what I did is I poked the pin to the hole and then solder it and then so that way uh, I don't have to try to hold it I could just solder it like so with this one on the, the one on top so I'm gonna go ahead and oop lost the cable so I'm gonna do is poke through the make sure the metal part is not facing uh, See this metal thing right here, I want to make sure it's uh, facing away from the mat magnet. So everything else is black except that. So I don't want that to face it. So I want to f uh, face away, want to away from the other pin. Okay. And then I just drop the solder right on top, solder iron, just heat up that, that metal. And you don't really need a whole lot, just a little bit enough. And there you go, it stay, it stay. Okay, so that's pretty much all the thing is solder. And uh, zoom back out. So what I'm going to do is, is put on that uh, this machine right here. And right here it have a pin. pin right here on it so I'm just gonna plug that in directly hopefully this one will able to plug in directly here and then uh, just plug directly to pin number one let me zoom in okay so pin number one I, I a marker a black marker on it so I know that's the top so pin number one I'm just going to poke straight right in and it doesn't really you don't need to poke it doesn't go all the way anyway when I pull the other one out so that is is nice and good so I want to turn it a little bit so that it won't interfere me to to uh, poke the rest of the other one in there so two three and four so now I need to figure out uh, which one is going to be number two and and then I need to uh, rotate it down correctly okay and then after that we are going to test the joystick and see how well it, it performs and then uh, 
So I'm just gonna plug one by one into this hole right here. And then uh, four to plug in. And based on the picture, I'm gonna plug the, the top one into uh, number two. And then I, and then the opposite direction, two will be up here and three will be down here. And then five will be over here and four will be over here. Okay, so that'll be two, three, four, five. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. Hello, Johnny. Uh, what I did was I poked this into like a one, two, Got it poked in, but the signal wasn't that great. And then I tried to put that this thing back, and now it doesn't work because the the hole on this thing is messed up because I I uh, I poke on it, and so now the connection is not good. Okay, so so now what I need to do is. See the it come out so quickly because the the stuff is messed up. The best way uh, one of my friends told me uh, is to get rid of to take this thing out. Take this thing out and then so I mark it uh, I mark it as like one black line is one, two black lines two, so it's one, two, three, four, five. The last one is five, so it's five black lines. And look like the color is already faded out. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So what I need to do is I need to poke this down. And when you poke it down, uh, this thing actually rise up. So you can actually pull it out. So you don't have to cut it. You could just pull this head out. Let me see if I can zoom this in, make it easier to see. Turn this power off. So what I'm trying to attempt is to get this thing out of the the hole. See that? See, I already bent this head right here. So I guess the pin doesn't want to go in. So this is not that hard to do. You could actually put it back. You just lift the lift the plastic up like so and then you just pull. See? No, I lost my needle. Okay, let's finish this. Uh, I went and we mark it to you know one lines for one two i use a permanent marker so i know which one is one which one is which so this is one so like i was saying is it's not hard you just lift this plastic up you just uh poke into them Poke it up. Let's drop it again. You just uh, lift it up. Okay. If you see, I, I lift it. I can kind of poke it straight through, and have that thing still in there, and just pull. The oh, third one's stubborn. Let's get the fifth one out. There you go. So you just, I didn't want to lost my needle again. So I'm holding it so I won't drop it. Alright, so I'm on third one. So 
so you so you poke through that hole right there and then you lift this thing up like this see so you lift it up and then once you lift the plastic up you could she pulled this out there you go okay so they all came out all right and I think when you put it back you just push it straight back in but I, I think I damaged this uh, plastic either the plastic or the metal canal is not going into the socket correctly where's the socket see it's not going in correctly in Let me see if I can put it back. So that's about it. Just put it back in like that. Hi, uh, just uh, let you guys know, I find out that the diagram was a mistake and I apologize. Uh, number two is actually a down and number three is up. So I have to swap this because when I was testing the game, uh, this is not up. So everything else is glue. I just need to take that brown one, put it down here and take that orange one and put it up here. And this one I did not glue it, so I just need to unsolder it. And then I'll be good to good to go. And also, I want to mention uh, a couple of things before uh, before I put in the fast pace. Uh, uh, I mean, fast uh, speed on the we doing that. Uh, I went and I went and taped this uh, hot glue this uh, thing right here into this, so I could able to turn it, and so the stuff is not permanent glue onto it. So this piece right here is holding the direction. So once I turn it till it's tight, and that's how I use this piece that came with that joystick on top, where it is screwed onto this. So once I aim it correctly, I just pop it in, and then it, it glue onto it. So I use hot glue to glue that piece. So now I could just put it in and screw, screw, screw. And this piece, I just unplug it, and then I'm good to go. Now I went and copy a cut this one last one out, out here because when I was turning it, it was in my way. So I cut that piece out also. And also FYI, if you are modeling this, this joystick, uh, this little piece right here, it will touch this, uh, this board right here. So let me unplug this. So you will have to uh, buy something like this, a uh, smaller one, uh, not as big as the other one. The other one is too big. And I just I just cut around here, where this with this one this is not in the way, so you don't need to cut that. Just and you could cut from here to here, and from here to here, cut it down, and then you test your joystick again, see if it touch it. So I cut as uh, cut almost half of each box, okay, half of each box. So just cut it all the way through half, okay. So if you cut halfway of this 
corner, then you'll be good when you play joystick. Okay, so it won't hit anything. All right, and it will be very smooth and everything. So I just want to bring that up uh, before I put in a fast B and we solder that and put it back on. All right, all right, stay tuned.